So I wanted to make this video because a lot of people been asking me about the keyboard tray that I have for my sim stand setup and sim racing, a set of course, uh, drifting and so forth, right? I've gotten into this whole hobby and it's been an amazing experience, life changing. But I bought this uh, keyboard tray for the sim and it comes with this tool you can see it right there that little red allen key so you can tighten it now normally people put this on their desk it's a desk clamp but the clamp is super durable now here are the pros and the cons to this thing it comes with two pieces of wood it's made by vivo uh a company that's been out for quite some time it doesn't come with that mouse pad included you just get the clamp the metal piece and the tray you know the two pieces of wood that you connect at the bottom there and it holds very well now the problem with this was that the rubber pieces come with adhesive and it's just for like safety measures so you don't scratch anything or whatever so there goes the two rubber pieces one goes around the clamp uh piece at the bottom that screws up upward so the space gets shorter so it could pop to the desk and the other one goes on the flat part on the top piece so you're not destroying your dash or whatever now when you're streaming or making content it gets hot and normally I have the AC because it has its own circuit and it doesn't mess up my PC and I'm able to use the AC, but I don't like the noise in the background going through the mic. So it gets hot. I'm dual PC streaming with two graphics cards, the processors. It gets hot in here. All the cables, the monitors. I got like four monitors on at the same time. It gets hot hot the door is closed you get it so i guess the adhesive starts melting and it starts bringing the tray towards me like sliding and then that rubber coming like outward sticking out like a beak right looking like that you see it on the top next to the phone holder or whatever it's like a grayish line uh, right before the actual metal clip or clamp, uh, that's it sliding. So remember, the sim stand is like slanted a little bit because of the way it's made. So I said, you know what? Let me take this out and take the rubber piece out. And in the bottom, as you can see, I have a piece of wood. There's a piece of wood right here uh, on it so that the clamp... It's just not like metal to metal, whatever. I just always do that. I always add a piece of wood at the bottom. It feels like it secures it more, like tighter for me. But that's the uh, cons to it that it started sliding. That's one of the major issues I had. But once I removed that rubber piece, so far everything is good. Once in a blue moon, depending on the force feedback on your wheel, you may hear a little like, broom, like a little rattle is slight and it's once in a blue. Remember, you got a long tray that's about 24 inches. It's actually longer than the sim stand. So instead of putting it in the middle, it would not turn inward. If I put it right in the middle, it would just be sticking out which is cool for some people, but I didn't want that. I wanted to be able to turn it in a little bit so I could have more space to get through in my studio setup for content creation and gaming. So I try to uh, make as much space as possible so I didn't have to put my sim rig or anything in another room. Although I have the available space, I like to have it all at quick reach where I'm making content at. So... Pop after all that and I took out the rubber pieces and all that so far everything is great uh 
right here you can see how I show you how it turns in after I put it you know put it together when I took off the rubber so it spins inward that way and out pop and then I got the chair and I move the chair and that chair goes down more once I sit on it you know it's aired up boom um the arms if you put the chair all the way up will be in the way because again it's not right in the middle but it works perfectly right most sim rigs don't even have the chair arms you get it so but overall is amazing links in the description to this video this is not a sponsored video all products are bought by me it's an amazing thing i think it's needed if you're gonna be using a sim so you don't have to be reaching over to your desk all the time let me know what you think and if you plan on getting something like this or what you use for your sim rig if anything to hold your keyboard and mouse because you need your keyboard and mouse right